Brett Whiteley was regarded by, is regarded still by many as Australia's universal genius, a kind of wunderkind, uh, an all-round whiz kid of art, capable of um, making a useful or making a meaningful expression out of almost any subject. And so we're familiar with his nudes, very familiar with his nudes. He's obviously he's very familiar with his landscapes of Lavender Bay. And we know he did portraits and we know that he did birds. And the birds, he also did paintings of trees. They're similar. They're both opportunities for Whiteley to focus on a particular area, a very finite area, and to scrape away all of the associations. The birds are actually, out of all of Whiteley's subjects, the, probably the one subject where he really lets the subject do the work. He, there is no notion that it's meant to be about something else. The subject was enduring for Whiteley because I think it allowed him to have an uncomplicated approach to his own art. When you consider that Whiteley did paint all of these subjects, landscapes, portraits, birds, and he painted, made prints and drawings and sculptures and ceramics, it's this kind of universality of Whiteley which actually makes you think about his persona as being this kind of wunderkind and this kind of, um, you know, enfant terrible. He wasn't such an enfant terrible. He was approaching all of the great classical subjects that artists do and he was never far from considering what Rembrandt or what Bosch or what uh, Van Gogh might have made of the same subject. So with the birds, you have Whiteley having a particular relaxed approach. I think fun is often what you, what you get with his bird pictures. And it's this kind of amusing uh, contra. I mean, birds themselves, of course, are beautiful um, by their very nature. And they can be very funny and they can be noisy. And all of these things come out in Whiteley's paintings. Good Morning, Japanese Sunrise, a very complicated title, is kind of typical in, the respect, in that respect that the bird itself is probably a tiny little thing, but the painting is absolutely enormous. So there's a kind of interesting irony there already. But Whiteley also did many uh, drawings and, and, as I said, prints, where the medium and the kind of character of the picture really is a very a good association or a very good conceptualization of what the particular bird is about. So the pelican, the dripping wet pelican, which is an ink on paper, uh, whitely painted it on wet paper. And so you get this very strong sense of this dripping wetness about it. It's a wonderful drawing. The other drawing which is uh, adjacent to it in our catalogue is of a black swan and it's just a very simple line and it's the neck. It's just this wonderful arabesque that Whiteley made his own, this wonderful line that you see that is the feature of the drawing and uh, both of those, both of these uh, bird drawings are exceptionally fine examples of a subject which was one of Whiteley's most enduring and popular subjects.